beautiful viewers welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a full face drugstore tutorial most of the products I'm using for the first time and I'm going to talk about what I feel about them at the end of my video but yeah that's all I have to say for the intro and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you guys at the end of my video and till then bye bye so for eyeshadow base I'm using the essence I love stage eyeshadow primer um, it's really cheap and I really like it because it's also a color corrector primer as well. So I'll just put it on my lid like this and blend it with my finger. Alright, so now I'll move on to my eyeshadow. And for eyeshadows, I'm using L'Oreal La Palette Nude. And I'm going to start off with the shade number 11, I think. They don't have names, they just have numbers. So this is the second last shade. I pick up with my um I pick up with my um the L'Oreal brush that came in with. So I'll pick up with the brush part and put on my crease. And now with the sponge area I'm going to pick up the second color. It's a very light rose gold gray color and I'm going to put it on my lid, all over my lid. Okay, and now I'm going to use this um, brown plum color for my outer crease. I'm going with the shadow brush. I'm using the Sonia Kashuk shadow brush and I'm just going to blend it in. I'm going to pull this color a little bit in the middle and I'm going to pick up this shade. This is a very gray taupe shade, I believe. I'm going to put it in the middle of my lid. After I wipe my brush, I'll go back to the first color I used, which is the second color in the palette. And I'm just going to mix it up, blend it in. I feel like I have enough. I'm going to pick up this shade and put it right in the middle of my lid to create that light diffusing. Um, so now that everything is done, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pick up the darkest shade, which is the last shade in the palette, and I'm just going to, going to put it in an angular motion. And everything is set and blended in. I'm going to pick up this shade, which is this gorgeous rose goldy pink color, and uh, also mix it with my crease color so that it doesn't look shocking. And I'll also pick up and put it in the inner corner. Once I'm done with that, what I'm going to do is I'll pick up this shade. And put it in my lower lash line and then I'm going to pick up the dark shade I'll also put it there okay, I'll pick up the shade a little bit and kind of mix it okay now that's done eyeshadow is done for now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply eyeliner for eyeliner I'm using Maybelline Master Precise and uh, Okay. And I'm just going to apply it like this. Okay. So before I apply my mascara, I'm going to do my brows. And for brows, I'm using Maybelline Brow Drama. So I'm just going to keep it around where my brow is so that my brow stays put. Now this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my mascara. For my mascara, I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. And I applied it on this eye and I fell in love with it and it's amazing. Okay, so now I'm just going to start with my lower lip. Start with the bottom of my lash. I'm going to keep the curve at the bottom. 
Okay, now basically my eyes are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal them. So before I put my concealer on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of Maybelline Age Rewind makeup. They do have the concealer version of it, but I really like the original version. And I'm just going to put it, with, pick it up with my finger like this. I'm just going to dab it. Before I put my foundation, I'm going to apply the Magic Lumi Primer. Basically, the foundation and the primer I'm using, it's basically for the people who have super, super dry skin. I have really dry skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little, dispense a little bit of the back of my hand. Dispense my foundation, which is in True Match Lumi. So basically, I'm going to Lumi my face. And I'm going to apply it with my um, cool foundation brush. And then just go by my business okay so now I'm going to apply the concealer and uh, obviously I'm using the magic Lumi concealer in the shade medium so I'm going to do it. Well, after forever later we can see the concealer woohoo yay life fun okay so I'm going to apply this in my inner corners I'm going to do the triangular shape thing cheekbones since this is the bridge of my nose looks great I think it's done and I'm going to use my cool concealer brush and just blend it in they're all blended in I'm using a very complicated product not a complicated product. It's the Sonia Kashu um, eyeshadow, and um, I'm going to apply it with the Sonia Kashu um, Kabuki brush. I'm going to apply this gorgeous golden shade and just apply it on my cheekbone to enhance it a bit more. So what I'm going to do is next, I'm going to apply uh, my blush, and for blush, I'm using. Maybelline Fit Me and it's in the shade something rose, I forgot. Shall we? I'm going to link it down below what shade it is. I'm going to find out and to warm up my skin tone, I'm going to apply bronzer and I'm using the Argan Bronzer by Physician Formula. And I'm also going to use their brush because their brushes are really good, the brush they come with. They're really amazing. By the way, these glitters you see, they're not going to stay. Once I like swirl everything in, they're just going to blend in with the uh, bronzer. Because I have the blush. See? There's literally nothing left. Just going to... Like my contouring is enough. Um, I'm going to apply it around my hairline. Because it's so white. A little bit um, on my nose. For my lip liner, I'm using the shade 55 in Maybelline lip liner, and it's also called Wine. And I'm going to fill it up with the L'Oreal Infallible um, Lip Color and first I'm going to apply the color part but the colors are not coming on my lips I mean on my hand I'm going to apply this lip balm part and I'm going to apply it all over my lip so yeah this is my full face drugstore makeup tutorial and I am really impressed by the products I've got mostly um, this one impressed me because I kind of thought it would be silicone based but it's not and it blended in with this nicely. Probably because they're from the same line but they went together really well. I used this one for the first time as well. Um, this is a very good drugstore primer if you um, have essence around where you live and you don't want to spend a lot of money for an for a eyeshadow primer then this is a very good primer. I think this is Canadian $3.99. 
and it's also a color correcting primer so it also works really well for the eyeshadow palette what i have to say is um um they're good they're good they're not like oh my god i'm in love with them they're good they're i like them they're pigmented they're really nice they're basically something i would wear every day if it's around my hand but not like for a party or something the blush really impressed me um I, will, I knew I would be impressed by it, but it super impressed me. Anything by Maybelline, I would... I have a thing for Maybelline, and usually Maybelline does not disappoint. Basically, this lash sensation mascara. Like, when I was in high school and I started wearing mascara, I started off with Maybelline products, basically. So, every time I see, think drugstore products, I think of Maybelline as a mascara, because they've been amazing. They've been my best friend since I was a teenager, so yay! The concealer is nice, I would say. I feel like, but you have to blend it in really nicely. If you can blend it in properly, it's nice. I don't have any problem with it. The lipstick, actually, I swatched it. The lip liner, I didn't swatch. But I'm glad they matched. I literally brought it home and I kind of matched it. I'm like, I was like, oh my god, I hope they match. They go, go get along together, but they do, actually. It's really nice. I am... Really impressed by this lipstick. For bronzer, I really love Argan Bronzer by Physician Formula. I did use other Physician Formula product before. Um, if I show you my blush, it's really amazing. This is a bit corally pink. This is the dark bronzer and I really, really, really love it. So yeah, and that's all I have to say about these drugstore products actually. This was a review slash a demo at the same time and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe and comment down below and also follow me on instagram and twitter and i'll see you next time on my video bye bye